Swimming in Minnesota is in full bloom. Everybody wants to head to the pools. We know that the risk of drowning or a water-related incident or accident increases for different reasons. Kids of an underserved population, that means resources, they don't have the money to participate in swimming. We know that Hispanics and, and African Americans have a higher risk of drowning, as much as 50% more. And we also know that kids who come from a non-swimming household also have double the risk of a swimming-related incident or accident up to fatality. At the YMCA, we believe that utmost importance is safety as it relates to pools, water, lakes, riverfronts. We have lifeguards at all of our pools, all of our beaches. We have boating on our waterfronts at various camps, so we make sure that a lifeguard is out with them on the boat as well as on the shore. As it relates to swimming safety, we want to make sure that nobody swims alone. Never go swimming, never enter a boat by yourself. And then making sure, one, that they're connected with somebody, that they have a playmate. But then the second part of it is ensuring that everybody is accounted for. And so we do safety checks here at CAM to make sure the kids get out of the water and check in with each other and their counselors. If you are swimming with a family, make sure that your kids never go unsupervised. Supervision is making sure that you are constantly vigilant and watching your children, not at the beach and enjoying you know, a leisurely activity while the kids are, um, are swimming. If you have a non-swimmer, you want to make sure that you know that. Make sure that your kids are swim tested. Get them involved in swimming lessons. We know that kids who have swimming lessons between the ages of one and four have less of a risk of drowning. If your kid has been swim tested and you know they're a non-swimmer, the two roles of safety that we recommend at the Y is that they are always within arm's reach of a parent if they are non-swimmers, and then they're also always in a life jacket for support, and you want to make sure it fits well. Fits meanings, you pick the right size of life jacket. Um, it should have all of the fasteners and zips that it came with, and you want to make sure all of them are strapped. Once you get the child or swimmer into the life jacket, you want to make sure that you do a pull test on the life jacket. And the pull test is that you grab between the life jacket and the shoulder of the swimmer and you pull up on it and if it comes to the ears that life jacket is too big and it needs to be resized. Safety first and enjoy the pool.